uh, one of the reasons I wanted to play the game first was to kind of get a, like a little hint of the lore before diving into the songs, because it seemed very lore heavy that the songs were. But uh, chapter three takes an hour alone, and that's speed running it. So yeah, okay. So it looks like we're going to be moving on to the reactions. So bear with me a moment here. So we're going to go into the reactions now. Uh, hopefully the audio for that, let's bring that down a little so that I'm not blasting you all with that. But before I do that, I wanted to real quick say something that Stupendium sent me about, uh, about, thanks Robert, uh, about this song. He said, so I thought you might appreciate a little context behind my Bendy songs before the stream. After years and years of making YouTube content with no real success, I decided to make one last video, pour everything into it, music, animation, all he could do. And if that video took off, he'd stick around. And if it didn't, he was going to give up YouTube and move on. That video was Find the Keys. And I spent the better part of 18 months working on it on and off in my free time. Thankfully, it paid off because he's still here. So this is the video that, that gave us stupendium as we know him today. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and, uh, so he, he made Cells No More three, three weeks later, and then, uh, realized the video was a big part of why Find the Keys did well, so he did videos for the other games, but in the background between projects, he was working on another big bendy animation, and after two more years' work, that was what Art of Darkness was, so, awesome, awesome, awesome to know that about these songs, kind of makes reacting to those songs pertinent for, uh, I'm gonna switch it to this real quick. Uh, so we cut, stop having infinite things. Uh, kind of what makes reacting to that pertinent for the 10k subs because it's kind of because of Stupendium that I've gotten as many subs as I have and my channel's seen the success it has because I've been reacting to his stuff. And because of that, you all have now grown accustomed to my own stuff, my, my songs and stuff. So, you know, it's thanks to Stupendium for making these songs and for you guys being fans of Stupendium and other comedy music for uh, checking out my other videos. So that's really cool. Appreciate that, everybody. So, you know, it's it's because of these songs that Stupendium became a thing, and then I became a thing reacting to his thing. Things and Bendy. These are the words that are the most said in this stream. Bendy and things. Sorry. So, all right. If I'm confused on a reference or curious as to how it ties into the game, come back to us. Otherwise, just do your thing. Cool. All right. So we are going to go check out the Bendy and the Ink Machine songs, starting with Find the Keys. We're going to go full screen here and do stuff. Silly Vision Cartoon. The the flower that he was uh, that he was watering there kind of looks like Flowey from Undertale, but I guess that's kind of like and it still has the bendy style eyes, which is old school Disney animation eyes, and it's kind of they're kind of like the rubber hose animation that you see in in the early Disney tunes and you know Cuphead and stuff like that. I always call those Pac Man eyes because when the smile is not going up on the eyes, it 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 looks like two Pac-Men facing the opposite direction. Uh, so that's that's neat. Uh, this is, a again, early stupendium, so it's not quite the speedy flow that we're used to. He's here for fun, so don't you frown. He'll be right here when the reels are wild. And it's really there when he started looks like like, like Flowey from Undertale. Oh, he's bendy! He's friendly! Three cents, please, because uh, that's how much old-timey movies cost. Good, good stuff. There's a cockademon from Doom, uh, and and I think that's uh, Papyrus over there, uh, under behind the three. I don't recognize who the other two 
skeletons are. But that's that's a nice touch. That's good stuff. Well, I came back to silly vision. I really wish I didn't. But here a minute, and I answered evil shit could riddance. Something hidden, think I blinked him, so I scribble living. I was Slender Man behind him. <laughs> and that that was Stupendium, but it didn't even sound like Stupendium's voice there. So that was very interesting. Uh, let me, I'm going to jump back real quick. I'm going to jump back real quick to, to the stream just to see if this is working. I'm just going to check the chat real quick. Yes. Okay, everybody's able to do this. I hope you like animation puns and references. Absolutely do, Stupendium. And uh, thank you all for everybody for showing me the love here. And showing Stupendium the love here. Uh, yes, I had to switch back so that I could see the chat because the stream is not activating properly. And now I have infinite me! Alright, cool. Back. Anyway. <laughs> digging digging the uh, the references in the animation. Very well done. I came back to silly vision. I really wish I didn't. But here a minute, and I answered evil shit could riddance. Something hidden, think I blinked, so I scribble living deep within the dope sheets. Some unholy tome is written. Some unholy tome is written. It's a good, it's a good little pocket of rhyme there. Uh, I, I, and of course the pentagram being there. I didn't really see them as pentagrams in the game. They just look like right, more like summoning, ugh, summoning circles. But uh, that's definitely a pentagram there. This big man to be full of fake man, some demonic pig man. Ooh, was this gigment to be, oh, figment and pigment? Good, good little pocket there. Uh, was this big man to be full of fake man, some demonic pig man? I don't think that's proper use of the equipment. Sapping fright the tyrants from the page into existence. No longer on the stage, all the majors gone away. Sketchy spooks want to play. So we've had Boris on stage with him. There's Alice. Sing along or be, Sing along or be erased. Uh, there's Boris getting drilled by a big daddy. Which, out of context, that sounds so wrong. But, uh, yeah, we had to have a Bioshock reference in here because it's stupendium. Uh, one, I, I've, I've been working on a, on a Bioshock EP for years and, and never quite getting it finished. And, and now I want Stupendium on a Bioshock song. <laughs> uh, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, this is... And this place is rep is stained. Who we'll clean up this ink and paint? Big man is a stinking pain. Let alone when it can maim. Those... When ink can maim. Holy crap. That... It's such a good flip. I like. I, I never really considered that, but that yeah, because it's the ink is kind of coming alive as the little creatures I've been hitting with an axe until the axe frickin' broke, and uh, yeah, holy crap. Okay, that's good stuff. Rubber hose murder tunes in overflow. There's the animation thing, the rubber hose thing. I actually just mentioned that before we got to the line in the song, but yeah, rubber hose animation, because that's that old '40s style, and everybody's kind of bouncy and rubber hose animation. It's what the Cuphead looks like. Uh, which, ironically, I wish the Cuphead show that's coming to Netflix was done in that kind of animation style. It's it's, it's a little less rubber hosey than I would expect for it, but I know some of the animators who were working on it, they're great people, and I, obviously it was just a design choice for the show, so. Alone when it can I've had enough of those rubber hose murder tunes in Coverflow, Puppet Show, out to tear me into two, so 12 frames a second. Tear me into twos, not tear me in two. It's an it's an animation pun because when you animate on the twos, it's it's like animating on every other frame or something like that. I can't describe it very well, but I'm familiar with what it is. At twelve frames a second, yeah, because it's normally twenty four frames a second. Uh, that's how f f most movies are shot, or twenty four frames a second. Animating on the twos means it's only twelve frames a second. He answers it in the next line. Good job, Ian. Murder tunes in cover flow, puppet show, out to tear me into two. So Twelve frames a second, everyone is spelling certain doom mowing through a load of goo that's grown into what Joey drew. That's grown into what Joey drew. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that button. Neat. Yeah, uh, uh, Joey Drew is the name of the guy in the game that we just learned. Hooray! 
And so good. So good on the animation puns there. I'm really digging that. This, uh, and we're, we're kind of getting some of the lore here. Can everyone is spell as Sergeant Doom? I went through a load of goo that's grown into a cherry tree. Wow. That's really cool. Because it's the mouth shape reference sheet for the character of Bendy, which we saw in an expression sheet. Um, all the mouths only start singing when the lyrics appear below them. That's really impressive. Um, that's that's really good. I, I, I love Stupendium's animation. I wish I had skill in that, but, you know, that's what he was doing before he was doing Stupendium stuff. A lot of video stuff and animation and such. And even from the start here, he... Uh, Always had amazing skill with that. Man, I'm jealous. All right, anyway. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. Think that I might go and say now. Insane now. Anyway, thank you, 10,000 subscribers. I was to try to solve this mystery, but you know that in between the breakdowns, you can always find the keys. Reference. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> little little um little Mickey voice kind of in the background because Bendy's kind of reminiscent of Mickey and Boris is clearly reminiscent of Goofy, but uh, having him play the trombone in the song is great. But having that sketch and then be colored in or inked in technically. Uh, while it's animating is also really, really nice. Uh, the stop look sign. Darkness rouse, no house of mouse, sing pen, king pen. You no house of mouse. There's Mickey, of course. Ink pen, king pen, you're in my house now. Wow! That's a good line. You're in my house now. No survival kid, chuck your textbooks out. Chuck your textbooks out. You think I wouldn't have caught that, but uh, there. I mean, Tex Avery is one of the animators. Chuck, why can't I think of Chuck's name? Oh, uh, it's he. He did, he did a lot of Warner Brothers animation. Chuck, animator. Chuck Jones. I couldn't think of the the simple name Jones. But yes, Chuck Jones and Tex Avery, two of the the most well-known animators for Warner Brothers Animation, and House of Mouse was Disney Animation, so I, I see what you're doing there. No illusion, it's life. I'm devout. You call yourself an artist. <laughs> well, I don't think you even know what art is. The, uh, I think that was a shot of Disney with the scratched out there. To say that art is just catharsis. The guts, the guts are a, uh, that's a thing. While my masterpieces are a piece of the carcass, I had a little Fleischer inspiration. A little Fleischer inspiration instead of a flash of inspiration. Max Fleischer, another animator. Uh, wow. And then I was hard for it. So you wow. Talk you waltz right Disney. in, take part of it. Waltz right in, Walt Disney. Good stuff. Singing merry melodies through Tartarus. There's a, there's so many. I'm pausing a lot because uh, there's so many references to to all the animation stuff. That's that's good. And okay, now, hey, that's what it is. Kid, chuck your textbooks out. No illusion, it's life. I'm devout. Oh, you call yourself. So you Delta. call yourself an artist. It's Mil call, not Disney. I missed that the first time through because he's. It's a stupendium thing of using puns that sound kind of like the words, but yeah, good stuff. Got it. 
an artist Well I don't think you even know what art is To say that art is just catharsis That's why my masterpieces are all pieces, pieces of pockets I had well, a little Fleischer inspiration And I was hard for it So you can waltz right in, take part of it Singing merry melodies through Tartarus You draw the line, I gave it life, an artifice Wow that is an amazing line. <laughs> you got my telegrams where the right part of tricks. Just some pentagrams and a couple candlesticks. Just some pentagrams and a couple candlesticks. That is interesting set dressing that we all saw in the game. Holy crap. Colonel and Jin Ren Jin Lazarus threw my pen rendered masochistic avarice. Wow. No wonder this, this song took him months to do. This video is incredible. Wow. House of Laughter built for Slaughterin. Because... Uh, what is slaughter without laughter? If you take out the laughter, it's just S. English words are weird. Allegory. Wow. Funtime Factory Felt a Folly is a tongue twister already to say, but yeah, you, the animation place was the Funtime Factory and it felt a folly because it became decrepit and overrun with ink and demons and. That's a thing, holy crap. Forest and Shred. Alright. Oh, Bugs Mini. He's in deep poo. Uh, Daffy and Felix the Cat, I think. And I don't recognize the last one. Because it seems a bit twisted around. I don't recognize who the last one is. Everything moves in arcs. Everything moves in arcs. Wow. That's not horrifying. Ups and downs in the walk cycle. Nice. When you pass out, we made contact extremely deep underground. I've been drawing seven circles, and that's where we can be found. Cause these creatures need their sheep so we can free us from these bounds. Freeing the sheep, the he will set us free, the whole thing with the creator that there was in the game. And uh the the spooky eyes is like from one of the uh the Disney no, it's 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 almost kind of like the eyes from the opening of Scooby Doo, uh, but I think I also saw it in either a Disney or a, or a Warner Brothers animation from Halloween or something. I'm being hunted yeah. by unwanted children's picture shows by someone holy ghost that broke out of the Zoe trope. Out of the zoetrope, because that was a type of... I think zoetrope is, is the little machine that you spin that you could see the animation in. Because uh, it had different pictures that were basically different frames on it. When you spun it, that was that became movement in the image. Um, I think Coppola's uh, production company was called Zoetrope Pictures. So... The devil's doodling and I guess he found the rotoscope Cause now his scrolls can walk the halls of all the studio Rotoscope is uh, drawing animation over filmed images Twisted animator, like magic machinator Don't let him get you their adventures, hurtful less on paper The squash is stretching through the gears of their accursed creation To bring to life a new imagineered abomination Ooh, that was a great little uh, verse there And imagineered, that's what they call the animators at Disney, the imagineers Darkness reigns incarnate at the heart of this machine. Just how deep this ink well goes is remaining to be seen. <laughs> I guess because not all the chapters were out by the time this came out, maybe? I don't know. I might go insane now as I try to solve this 
history But you know that in between the breakdowns You can always find the key <laughs> That's all, folks Amazing Tune in next week Bye Wow Bravo That was incredible And a little rubber hose stupendium That's fantastic With Slenderman behind him That's so good so good. And the little bending demon appearing behind him. Wow. Okay. That's that's pretty incredible. Um that's that's really awesome. I wanted to stop between uh the reactions so I could check catch up with chat. Yeah, so yeah. Uh let's move on to the next song, shall we? Infinite. And then not infinite. And I get to see how it works once the delay and lag corrects itself in uh, in my phone stream. <laughs> uh, which wow, there's a that's a lot of delay. It just now switched. Ashley says, I've got to get ready for a Christmas dance, Ian. If you're still streaming by the time I come back, I might join in. But if not, have fun, and you're welcome for guiding you through the game. Yes, Ashley, thank you so much for being my Sherpa through the game. Anyway, let's move on with these songs. Going back to Cells No More, which is about Chapter 3, which we were just getting into in the game. But uh, we wanted to move this thing along. So... A Joey this Drew picture by the stipendium. Day. I love that this is the consistent opening between the two songs. Angel pays us a visit. Sharpen your pencil, seal the room. You think I'm mental, I think you're doomed. Experimental death cartoons have crossed the mantle, you're maroon. Nice. It's a very good line. Obviously, this is more of a lyric video. Than, uh, than anything, at least so far. I could be wrong, but this this appears to just be a lyric video. Uh, Alice is looking a little worse for wear than she did when uh, we saw her posters in the game. I use this slow chat interval to bring you this useless chat message. Glad I saw that. Uh, Goofy is on vacation. Uh, thank you, uh, Silva. Rest of the stream goes well. Thank you for joining. I appreciate that. All right. By rising tides of inky gloom, deprived of life and after you. Well done, you survived chapter two, <laughs> but there's much more you have to do. That's very appropriate, because I just survived chapter two, but there is so much more of the game that I have to do. I haven't even started, really, chapter three. Uh... And, and, wow, all of the gurgles just came out of my face. Um, and uh, I, I don't think the mic picked it up, sorry. Uh, but uh, I haven't even, haven't even experienced Alice yet, but as Ashley was saying, uh, Chapter 3 takes an hour even speedrunning it, and I'm slow because I'm looking at chat and being afraid. So, <laughs> Alice, not in this wonderland. I, I use that in my Resident Evil song because... The person in the Resident Evil movies is named Alice, and uh, except for the new one that just came out, which is not a great movie. Um, I just saw it last week. Uh, Ooh, that was a groovy little pocket there. Da 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 that that little rhyme scheme he's got, but with carrying over that, that bit from the beginning. It was really nice. Feel my sins beating in my skin, ink is seeping in. Just that that beginning of the pocket there is really, really nice. Evil steeple. Ooh, and it keeps going. Ooh, man, that whole bar section was so good. Wow. 
Yes, thanks, Larry, for joining the stream. First stream in a very long time. Mostly it was game streams for a while, so. If it's true, the pen is stronger than the sword. What am I supposed to do when the pen declares a war? I apologize if I haven't mentioned wow. it before. But brandishing an axe is not a tactic I adore. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and and I'm sad I lost the axe. Uh, I I I wish I had. It's it's my security axe. Um, but yeah, uh, pen mightier than the sword. Flip on that. That's when he said something in there, and I've forgotten it already. If it's true, the pen is stronger than the sword. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, what am I supposed to do when the pen declares a war? That is an amazing line. That is. That is such an incredible flip on that because yeah, pen. They always say pen is mightier than the sword, but what if the pen declares a war? What are you going to defend yourself with? An axe? Yeah, I don't like defending myself with an axe. Apparently, the person singing the song doesn't. Anyway. When the pen declares a war, I apologize if I haven't mentioned it before. But brandishing an axe is not a tactic I adore. It's impractical for tackling attackers who are drawn. Ooh. See, that's the thing that I, I really love about Stupendium's writing, is his little internal rhyme schemes. Impractical for, tacki for tackling attackers. Just, just hitting those hard consonant sounds on those rhymes on the internals is so good. It's a thing that I try to do. I'm not super successful with all my songs in doing, but internal rhyme schemes, whenever I can find a good pocket to put them in, is always really exceptional. And, and it, it's... You know, sometimes it's flexing in, in writing, but sometimes it also just, it helps elevate the song a little more for my ears anyway. It's something that I dig. So, it's it's a it's a preference, kind of, but uh, I, I always appreciate when writers are skilled enough to, uh, to do that and also spit it lyrically as well as it's written because uh, I trip over my own tongue so much. I mean, you, you see it on, on my videos, even when I'm just describing something to talk about. I fumble over this fat thing in my head. So, you know, I, I appreciate the the lyrical dexterity that's uh, shown in these songs. Yeah, it is my emotional support axe. Um, let's see. Cool. Yeah, Alice is kind of scary. Uh, and uh, Mickey Mouse has a meeting to attend. So everybody say goodbye to Mickey Mouse. Thanks for joining us and letting us know that Goofy's on vacation. Cool. On to the fact that I am battling satanic traffic spawn. I'll get to practice in by slashing through these splashes on the floor. But for every splat of hack, the pentagram attracts some more. So that makes sense. Yeah, those splats that have come up and started attacking me. Everybody warned me about those and I was expecting the worst, but they mostly go down with one hit. Maybe two if I, if I don't quite hit them cleanly. So uh, you built up the attackers more, more than I experienced them, so... I guess I guess being over prepared in that was better than not being prepared at all. Forget what you think you know. Some angels come from down below. So light box off, peg bar the door. Ooh. Cause we're not locked in cells no more. Cells no more. And I why did I not think of that? Why did, how did I miss that when seeing the title of the song after playing the game? Cells no more. We're not locked in cells no more. Not just locked in a prison cell, but an animation cell. How did I miss that? Holy crap. Wow. That bravo. Bravo. That's... Whoa. Can't stop seeing the bottom right guy as an inky Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, kind of looks like it's like a monkey Abraham Lincoln kind of thing because there's a a weird monkey thing behind it also, and a weird duck creature. Well, that's attackers who are drawn to the fact that I am battling. Yes, drawn because they're all animation things. Wow, that's. That's so good. That's so good. You don't know what it means when people say that incomplete. If you think you've seen hell before, well, we're not locked in cells no more. Ink can bleed. Oh my god. So good.
Like, because when ink bleeds through the paper and you get it onto stuff or the paper underneath it, but you're stabbing things with an axe and a knife, apparently. Yeah, ink can bleed. Meet Alice. She's a devil of a game. She's here to test your metal and you'll never be the same. There's a horns beneath the halo, so it's helpful as to pray. She's a hell of a gal. Don't believe what's in her name. It's hell of a gal. Don't believe in Alice Angel. Don't believe what's in her name. That's so good. E is running. Uh, brush your teeth. Be kind to one another. Take ten minutes to call your mother. Thank you very much, E. Appreciate that. Uh, the group is the Butcher Gang. Uh, and then your message was retracted because apparently you can't say butcher. Uh, even when talking about meat, maybe. Uh, so, interesting. Cool. I just want to check chat there. Betty Boop and Lucifer, a glamorous sadomasochist. Wow, such good lines. A vaudevillian killer just to rebel in the past. Vaudevillian, not vaude. Oh, man. Okay, I've always loved that kind of flip anyway. A friend of mine calls himself the vaudevillian. Uh, not vaudevillain, or vaude vaudevillian. It's so hard to say it, because you're taking the word villi villain and putting it into vaudeville, and a, a person of vaudeville, a vaudevillian. It's hard, to, and there's my name in it again, so more Ian puns. But vaudevillian killin, vaudevillian killin. However he said it, I couldn't. See? Tripping over the fat tongue! You make it glamorous, say no masochist who's out to play A vaudevillian killin just to rebel in the pain But don't delay, you've got lots of levels left to play She may have thought I do have more levels to play. We may get back to that. We'll see. Ian Kaelin just to rebel in the pain, but don't delay. You've got lots of levels left to play. She may have thought from heaven, but she's anything the same. If you're running out of breath, then get your vandal in a spray. But you won't delay your fate unless you let her have a way. With pain and death by numbers, and your guts will be the pain. Oh, death by numbers. That's really good, too. That's really good. From left to right, it's the striker, the fisher, and the piper. I'm guessing these are enemies that I'm going to have uh, soon. Spoiler alert was redact redacted. Uh, missing the ink bleeding thing. Oh, missed the ink bleeding thing too. That's really good. I'm guessing the fisher is the one with the fishing pole on the back that kind of looks like a mouse holding a wrench. Uh, yeah, that's uh, good to know. You can run and help a leather, but it's better if you stay Cause we'll leave your legs severed before you ever get away Make a choice, pick a door, quit betting on a stage <laughs> There's a secret that you're seeking and she's showing you the way So apparently it's gonna be more mazes than I... I was already stuck in the maze in the first level Good. Forget what you think you know, some angels come from down below. That's so light line. box off, peg bar the door. Light box off, because you're when you're animating, you're drawing on the light box so that you're seeing the images that you're cycling through when you did hand drawn animation anyway. Peg bar is also something that's that's I think that's something that's used in animation as well, so yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Door, Cause we're not locked in cells no more. You don't know what it means when people say that incomplete. If you think you've seen hell before, well, we're not locked in cells no more. Now I'm part between the puddles and the something coming at me. But Alice sent me tasks, so we're really must and dally. If a letter catch me slack and she would hack me up and at me to the carbonated caucus in the dark and caddy valley. Ooh. Oh, that's such a good flip. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. A carpet made of carcass in this dark, uncanny valley. Already, you're thinking the dark valley that you're trapped in because you keep going further and further underground. But the uncanny valley is what they call when you're looking at something that's animated sometimes or, or uh, that's supposed to be human in form, but it doesn't quite pass for human. Like, looking at CGI people... They don't. They still kind of look like CGI because there's something lost in the in the eyes, and so your brain recognizes that it's not human, and that's called the uncanny valley. Um, I'm describing it badly, but that's the gist of it. Um, so having that be the in this dark uncanny valley being the reference to the dark area where he is, 
is simply genius. That is so good. That is so good. The peg bar is what holds your paper in place on the light box. Thank you, Stupendium. I knew it was there somewhere. Uh, yeah, Art of Darkness is going to be interesting without context for Chapter 4 and 5. Uh, what's happening? Who is the woman and why is her face melting into Pac-Man? Uh, that is Alice Angel from, uh, from the Bendy and the Ink Machine game. I haven't uh, encountered her yet. So, uh, yeah. What font is that under the knife? Yeah, that's a very... That's almost a, a Bioshock-esque font there. Uh, what are the flips? He keeps sitting. I see no flips in the back of the front kind. Flips meaning uh, lyrical flips, not not physical flips. When you flip the meaning of, of a word or flip it to make a punchline, and in a, in a song punchline, not the same as a joke punchline, but sometimes joke punchlines in songs can be jokes. Uh, it's It's a hip-hop term. Um, but yeah, the existence of an uncanny valley implies an evolutionary reason for humans to be scared of something that looks human, but isn't. That is a much better way to describe it than the way that I fumbled through. Uh, yes. Appreciate that. Cool. Um, I'm thinking before we get to the, to the end of this song that I might save Art of Darkness for later, for after we've gone through chapters three and four in the game. Uh, which we might do on stream, we might not. Uh, so let me know what you think while I finish this song out. It's absurd. Man, characters are crawling up the walls of it. Burbank doesn't have these problems at all. Because Burbank, they do a lot of animation in Burbank, California. I know this because friends of mine live in Burbank and are animators. <laughs> uh, I've mentioned my buddy TV's Kyle a lot. He and I are in a group called Scooter Picnic. We do kind of nerdcore. We call it bloop core quirk hop because it's bloopy sounds and weird raps but he is the creator of mighty magiswords which was on cartoon network and my buddy uh the great luke ski who's another comedy musician nerdcore rapper uh was a storyboarder on that show and uh they're both out there in burbank i know a couple other people out there in burbank working on animation things so yes burbank lots of animators wait a second you should see what Unreal 5 did crossing over with The Matrix. It's practically live action. I have seen screenshots of it, and they look like live action screenshots. Uh, people just using photo mode in the game for an hour. It's like a half hour demo, but people doing photo mode for an hour. Uh, I haven't downloaded it yet. It looks amazing. Uh, I, I, I'm, I got caught to that one because they highlighted my name. Um, Art Deco font. Yes, very Bioshock. As long as Art of Darkness is in the pipeline, I'm good. I've also got to grab a delivery in a sec, so delay will happen for me anyway. It's not me delivering for you this time. Uh, I do delivery, hence my song Delivery Boy, available now on iTunes, Spotify, and this very channel. But, uh, yeah. I think Weird Al Yankovic voiced a character... Yes, yeah, Weird Al did voice a character on Mighty Magiswords. He was the voice of Papa Catassium, which is the little Smurf-like creatures uh, in, in Mighty Magiswords. He voices the head... Of, of the village, Papa Catassium. Uh, and in the little short where they introduced the character before the show became a show proper, they did like little five-minute shorts, and there's one point where he's he screams the phrase, Eat it! Because his song, Eat It. But yes, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Anyway, lose him a voice. That's the thing about live stream. I'm, uh, lots of pauses for me, cause, uh, beverage. Welcome, John. It's absurd, man. Characters are crawling up the walls of it. Burbank doesn't have these problems at all. Seems Lucifer is in a skirt, a crooner through the halls at all. Hell is breaking Lucifer, a mule is on and doll. Lucifer in a skirt is a great way to describe Alice, cause he's already called her Betty Boop and a cross between Betty Boop and Lucifer. That's, that's awesome. Seems Lucifer is in the skirt of crooning through the halls and all hell is breaking loose if I'm on So draw the curtains, draw the blinds. Draw the curtains and the blinds. Good stuff. There's nowhere left to hide this time. Oh draw no. Draw your lots and stand in line. You might survive till chapter five. Draw your lots. Drawing lots is when you have the sticks of different sizes to see who goes and does what not. Uh, but drawing lots again is another another art pun. 
nowhere left to hide. You might survive till chapter five. That fills me with uh, total hope for playing through the rest of the game. Goody. Goody. You just turned your private screening. Grab your popcorn, quit your screening. <laughs> Drawn and quartered, guess new meaning. Drawn and quartered. There is a there is a, a a comic called Drawn and Quarterly, so that that pun is prevalent. Good stuff, but yes, in this it clearly gets new meaning. Think that might be incomplete. Death scene, demons, been a scheming secret still that need revealing. Now it's time to start believing. Ooh. Alice doesn't want you leaving. That little repetition of that same rhyme scheme throughout those final lines. Uh, making it kind of more demonic as it builds up in those lines. That's that's super great. Wow. And there's the rubber hose stupendium again. It's early stupendium, so he's not talking over those. Uh, wow. That was really incredible, too. Uh, honestly, thank you all so much for, for joining me on this stream. I really appreciate it. Uh, I... Uh, I need to I need to save the voice here, and uh, I've been talking nonstop for three and a half hours. <laughs> so uh, honestly, thank you all so much for ten thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much for for watching all these videos, commenting and liking. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you all joining me for the stream. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it really means a lot to me that you're all here. That you're all uh, enjoying what I do uh, in the reactions and in my music videos. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, honestly, truly, from the bottom of my heart, it means so much to me that you're all here and uh, helping me get to 10,000 subscribers and beyond. So, thank you. Um, I'm going to go get some food. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Get herself a big brown beaver and she shows it off to all her friends. One day, you know, that beaver tried to leave her, so she came to mow a cyclone fence. Along came Lou with the old baboons that recognized that smell. It smells like seven layers. That beaver eats Taco Bell. <laughs>